Are you ready? Bunch of strawberry meets people. They're always very interested to know what that bump is. It just makes her very recognizable. Strawberry had to undergo a lot of tests to see what the bump was. And luckily, it turned out that the bump was just bone and scar tissue, and it was not dangerous to her. So decided to just leave it as is. Oh. She sometimes bumps it on things because I think she doesn't even remember that it's there. But she lives a very normal dog life. What is that? She came to live with us about 10 months ago and she was pulled out of a shelter and because she has the bump on her head, she was on the list to be euthanized. We went to meet her at one of her foster mom's houses and she saw my son and she just went over to him and she put her paws up on him and basically just gave him a big hug. <laughs> That's my first memory of Strawberry. She was quite nervous the first few weeks that we had her. She needed a lot of attention. So we let her keep to herself at first for the first few weeks. And then we took her for a little walk and she was very sweet. She really has come out of her shell now. <laughs> Strawberry loves everyone in this family so much. She is very sweet with the kids. So sometimes they'll use her as a pillow. And she gets very excited when they come home from school. All the time, people stop us and ask, oh, is that the unicorn dog? Yes, it is. Oh, the kick. I like the kick. I like the kick. I think that's called a mule kick. <laughs> so she's experienced a lot of love from humans at this point. She likes to play fetch in our backyard. She enjoys playing with dog friends and enjoys a little walk a couple times a day. She sometimes is so excited she has to just run a lap around our living room because she doesn't know what to do with her excitement. So now we get to see the real strawberry personality. She brings us so much joy and it's been very rewarding having her in our family.